Okay, so now let's talk about invalid injection request. Why would the interface say invalid injection request? An invalid injection request occurs when the interface is idle and sees a supply signal only and doesn't see the latch. So if you push your both up and down blue arrow keys together, press the up arrow key once. If we see a supply signal turn on, in this case we see bit 2 and turn off. First it's going to wait your latch delay time which we have in 5 seconds and then you would get invalid injection request. So again if it sees the supply signal by itself when it's idle and no latch you'll get an invalid injection request. Our latch delay time is set for five seconds. So we'll press the up and down blue arrow keys again to see our binaries turn on and off. This time we see bit one. And we see our latch. That should identify formula one. And we have formula one in the screen. So we're going to go ahead and end our formula. And again, we'll watch our binaries come on and off. And what you have to remember is if you're getting continual invalid injection requests, is that you may need to adjust your latch delay time. That's the time that it waits from the time it sees a supply signal turn off. It waits that amount of time to see if any other supplies or the latch is turned on to add those numbers together. Yeah. So if we turned on supply one, and for our training demonstration, we have a five second latch delay. If we see supply one and that five seconds goes out, we're gonna get an invalid injection request. If we wait and we see our latch delay come on about 10 seconds later, that tells us we need to adjust our latch delay time in order to add these numbers up.